Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how you can fight Rotjaw easily, effectively, and if need be, you can even do it alone. So to start with, I wanted to share that recently I had a game where me and a teammate went to fight main bounty while our third guy fought Rotjaw, and we both died at bounty, and it took the third guy around the rest of the match to fight and banish Rotjaw. I believe once he got back and revived us, uh, there were four minutes left on the clock. Anyway, the point of the story is to say that Rotjaw is a beast. Uh, she can be extremely evasive on occasion when she rarely stays above the surface of the water for short periods of time, and with it being a water mob, it's very easy to miss and hit the water around her. On top of that, I don't know if you've been hit by Rotjaw's main lunge attack, but that attack can do roughly 125 health in a single shot and knock you on your ass. Which, by the way, if happens in deep water, then Rajah will have plenty of time to land a follow-up attack and end your suffering before you can reach the land. Which will be easier for her to do because you're on your last health chunk and she can one-hit kill you with almost any attacks. Uh, the panic you feel will probably cloud your judgment. With all that on the table, it seems a bit more reasonable that it took our teammate 30 minutes to solo it, but anyway, there is a way more effective way to fight Rotjaw. Overall, the damage will still come out to you, because you can kill it however you want to, but as you know, Rotjaw only attacks or even emerges from the depths of the bayou when someone is in the water and she decides to target and attack them. So it goes without saying, the best way to kill Rotjaw is to ensure that she can be attacked for as long as possible. Meaning, someone should stay in the water at all times. Which brings me to the next point, dodging Rajah. Now, if you look at her attacks, other than the electric void puddles that she spews out, her physical attacks are all forward-based, which makes sense as an alligator is narrow and they face a single direction. She'll attack in a straight line like an arrow. Meaning whenever you see Rotjaw emerging from the depths, all you have to do is imagine that she is the epicenter of a circle, and you are walking around it. Her attacks are easy to sidestep, so long as you do this, every time you see her uh, bubbles pop up that indicate she's about to attack, you just have to, you know, act like she is the middle of a circle and you're walking around it. Very easy to sidestep it. Overall, it's pretty easy to fight her without leaving the water, but sometimes you might have to to heal because she has some weird attacks. Sometimes you fight her in enclosed spaces and she'll snag you no matter how good you are at the sidesteps, and her snags will almost kill you sometimes. Even if you're missing a single bar, she has that one attack that will take the entire rest of it off, so you always want to be full health when you're in the water with her. But. When fighting a glass cannon like Rajah, the best way to win is by making sure you survive. Now back to the uh, statement earlier about it's up to you to damage her. I would say that the standard ways of damaging any boss apply to Rajah similarly. Penny Shot, Bomb Lance, Nitro, they all work well enough. Additionally, Wax Dynamite Sticks work well. They do about a third of her health each, and Poison also does decent. If you just want to kill Rotjaw the fastest way possible, I'd recommend doing it the same way you can with every other boss. The good old reliable big dynamite bundle suicide bomb strategy. Get a teammate to sit on the shore and watch as you take the fireworks show into your own hands, walk into the water where Rotjaw lurks, and start cooking it. Just try to time it so that it detonates while she's attacking you or next to you, and it'll kill her in a single hit. Then a simple revive and banish, and bam, you got a banish in less than 20 seconds. That I think I've covered everything I wanted to in this guide, so thanks for watching, and until next time.